Hey, I'm uh, writing a blog post here. It's called Why So Angry? Why So Angry? And you know, it's a post about um, my thoughts about the, the climate in uh, America and in the world today. And it's not just the political climate, but it's the climate everywhere. I see all these uh, headlines uh, people saying that they're angry and I say here the president Barack Obama a pretty mellow dude saying well people were angry and that's why they uh, they voted uh, uh, Republican in uh, the recent uh, Senate uh, runoff uh, over there in uh, Massachusetts where you know Democrats had that seat for almost 50 years and uh, he's in Obama a Democrat said this it was because of anger people are angry uh, they said that uh, when Obama got swept into the uh, office in uh, 08, it's because people were angry. They wanted change. Well, people lose their jobs. They get angry. People don't get their way. They get angry. Uh, you know, here's the thing. Um, name of my website is Live Life 365. And I'm all about life. I'm all about the best way to live your life to its fullest if you live your life in a constant uh, state of anger, know what that makes you? An angry person. I mean, I understand this about compassion. I understand about caring. I understand about being conscientious about issues. I understand about trying to change the way things are. And those are all good attributes. Those are all good things. But to be angry about it. I mean, we could be concerned, care, want to try to make things better. That's a good thing. But going about it in an angry way. Do you want to know what the definition of anger is? Here, I have it on my blog post here. Hold on, let me come down here. The definition of anger is strong feeling of displeasure and belligerence aroused by a wrong. Wrath and ire. Some of the synonyms are resentment, exasperation, bile, <laughs> fury, indignation, and rage. You know, when I think of those words, and when I think of that, that definition, I'm like, I don't want to be around that. Now, don't get me wrong, I've had my share of, uh, of being upset in my lifetime. Especially when I was younger, I was actually the angry young man. You know, I'm a lot older now. And I've mellowed a lot, and I've learned to channel that energy. I don't want to say that that's an anger that I'm channeling, but in the past, perhaps it was. You know, perhaps through athletics uh, or sports or, uh, you know, competition, you can take that, uh, that quote, anger and channel it into something else, into a, a positive vibe. I'm all for positives, but I'm not about anger. And when I look at the words fury, indignation, indignation, rage, wrath, belligerence, it lets you know what anger is all about. So my question is, why so angry? Why is the world so angry? I understand people being upset about not having a job, people being upset about, about uh, the way the healthcare system is, or people being upset about terrorism, or people being upset about uh, war, or people being upset about just the way life is. The way I look at it is life is life is life. We'll always have challenges in life. They've been here for as long as mankind has been on this planet and they'll be here for as long as mankind inhabits this planet. It's up to you as a person, as an exemplar, as an example for others to react in a positive, caring, kind, uh, non-angry way. And if you do that, guess what? A lot of the anger will dissipate. Think about that, huh? Peace. We've been through some things together